A couple years ago I made a video showing you all my dad's iRacing setup that he made for himself and his journey to become the finest iRacing competitor this world has ever seen, and I'm often asked what he's up to now, is he still racing, gaming in general, what's the deal, is, is Papa Charles still out on the Sigma male grind set? And I'm happy to report that he is. I'm going to take you on a tour of my dad's latest in gaming. And this is going to kind of be like the 100 Thieves compound walkthrough. Because what my dad's built is nothing shy of beautiful. He's completely redone his racing room. And it almost looks like a museum. It's filled with things that you'd probably see on an episode of American Pickers from the History Channel. But all of it has meaning and I think it all comes together and looks great. I love the old slot machines and old pinball machines. And the jukebox ties everything together. Walking into this man cave is like walking into a greaser's hangout spot. His actual racing simulator setup is about the same as it was, only with a couple of minor tweaks and upgrades, but overall, largely the same. Now, of course, this isn't the only thing my dad's been cooking up recently. He's like Jimmy Neutron with inventing shit, and he's always coming up with new wacky ideas, but in particular, he's been focused more on gaming recently in general. But before I show you his, like, gaming setup, I want to talk about his iRacing career because it's been a couple years now since he became like an active athlete out there on the track and he's been hitting him with that fucking shake and bake. So he hasn't been racing for rank too much these days. He mainly just races with like a group of friends that they all have fun racing with and he'll sometimes hop into other lobbies as well. But he saves most of his wins and he has over like 200 of them now, which is pretty impressive. He's a fiend out there like the boogeyman. He has a strategy that he always employs where he just kind of hangs back for most of the race to like the last three laps. And his logic behind it is he's pretty sure other people are going to crash in front of him. So he just waits it out and then towards the end just fucking books it and just slaps them around. And the strategy clearly does seem to be effective. But he's not just eye racing now. Like I said, he wanted to branch out into other forms of gaming, so he's been getting into things like World of Warships and all of that. So he set up his own gaming headquarters, a battle station that brings a tear to my eye. It's so wonderful. Now, what if your personal battle station is getting a little old and stinky, PCs a little grimy, not as great as it used to be, and it's time for an upgrade? Well, why not go to Starforge Systems and get a Starforge PC? I'd personally recommend the Horizon 2 PC and the Horizon 2 Pro. Just absolutely amazing systems and some of the best price to performance around. Now, if you watch my streams, you'll know that Starforge Systems is a company that I'm personally involved in as one of the owners, as well as OTK. And I want to squash this right now. The logo is not cock and balls. I know Linus Tech Tips uh, speculated that it was a penis rocket, but that's just a happy little accident. It, it only appears to be a penis rocket under certain lighting. But anyway, I do honestly recommend Starforge Systems to anyone that needs a PC upgrade and doesn't want to build it themselves. It's what we all use at the warehouse. They're absolutely amazing. And right now we're releasing the Voyager Creator Pro, which features the newly released NVIDIA 4080. The supply is a bit limited, so absolutely hurry up if you're interested. But if it's sold out, you can select Notify Me when available, so you can be notified the second that it gets restocked. And the restocks do happen often. How many how many kills do you have so far? I don't know what. Sometimes I just stalk them until I blow them up. Aha! Was that you or a teammate that got him? I think it was him. Yeah. So how many weapons do you have? Just this, just these guns. I haven't even got any more weapons yet. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm just too in the blowing them up. Man, that guy sucks. A lot of them suck. Do, do they even fight back? Well, they, they can't aim. That's the problem. Like, most of them can't shoot. Is that even like a battleship? It's, it seems more like it's a, a civilian it's a, transport vehicle. It's a cruiser. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I haven't even seen anyone shoot at you yet. Are you sure you're even in like a battle? You're just killing like fishermen or something. No, they're not even no, fighting. No, 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 this is a battle. Of course they're... Shoot. See, sometimes they'll they'll stop and they want you to go blowing by them so they can get you, but I always stop with them and then just shoot it out. Ah, got his ass. Yeah, it looks like they're about to run out. They are. 576 to 56. That's all me, brother. <laughs> I was blown away. I watched like three matches from my dad. He was dropping like six or seven kills a game, which for that game seems pretty high. But I also got a little 
suspicious. Was he actually playing against human beings, like sentient organisms with a pulse? Because my god, they were shit. And my dad is good not to take anything away from them, but half the time they're just crashing into each other, like crashing into the island. So it got me thinking, is the World of Warships community, like at that level, just really bad? Or are there also bots in there? And it turns out, and my dad confirmed, there are bots as well as real players that uh, populate these matches. But according to the community, the bots are actually better than most of the players. So the people my dad was going wild on, just popping off on, weren't bots. They were people. The astute observers among you may have noticed that he also has a flight stick as well as some kind of throttle booster device that seems like something out of Back to the Future to fucking travel through time, which are gamer accessories he uses for other games, specifically War Thunder. Now, his setup's been coming along nicely. He's only recently recently been getting into these other games. I imagine a month from now, he'll have a setup that looks like he's going to pilot a fucking mech. It's alright, though. It just takes practice. Yeah, but it, these, these guys are good. I'm, I'm good at this. I haven't done it enough. That's the problem. Right? All right, give them hell. Here's my pitching, y'all. Looks good. Can you do any cool acrobatics? <laughs> oh yeah, he's fucked, you got him. No! Yeah, you got him right where you want him now. Guns are jammed! Ram his ass! Oh yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> there you go. You gotta hit. Shit. That's so freaking hard. <laughs> no! Almost, almost stalled it! Oh shit! It's hard! No! Oh, see? I think that's the longest I've listened. I thought it was a valiant effort here. My dad went out there and gave it his best. Unfortunately, the player base for War Thunder does seem a little more experienced than he is, but he's learning, and I have no doubt he'll be top of the food chain pretty soon. As you can see, my dad's been mainly focused on, like, simulator-style games, but he says he's open to try pretty much everything. So I've been trying to come up with games I think he might enjoy. I also even tinkered around with the idea of showing him RuneScape if I wanted to absolutely ruin all of his free time, but I thought that'd just be a little too evil for right now. I'll probably ease him into some good starter games. I, I legitimately do think he'd enjoy Doom, so I'm going to try and get him on that Doom hype train, get him experiencing some wild FPS action. He just strikes me as more of an action-oriented gamer, so those are the games I've been mainly looking at. But anyway, I just wanted to share this little update since a lot of people keep asking, does my dad still continue to game? The answer is a resounding yes, and he is only getting more and more into gaming as a hobby. So yeah, that's about it. See ya.